I thank God for them. I thank God for everything that they went through, all the tests, all the trial and tribulation. What's going on today is that they are able to be here to celebrate their love. And they should be used as an example of endured love. I am just so blessed to be able to be here with you and you and I, I hope to remain your friend forever. I know that I'm part of your family. I've been part of your, your family. So when we met that May, a few years back, I knew then and there that you will be my sister forever. Thank you guys. I love you. The best thing I can do is just make her happy. I don't care how I do it. You know, when I do it, you know, and even if it's the last thing I do, I just wanted to keep her going. I just wanted her to be happy, you know. If you say what I'm looking for, it's happy. It as a thing, as long as she's happy, you know. Yes. You know, I'm happy, I'm content, you know, because mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for being here with us today to celebrate Marie and Patrick in matrimony. The union of husband and wife is one of the heart, mind, and body, and it's intended by the Lord for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort to give in times of prosperity and adverse. The union grows as the couple become one in more in more ways on a growing basis as their love for one another. It's Marie and Patrick. Life is given to you as individuals. And then the first lesson you have to learn as a married couple is how to live with each other, how to live together, and how to love. Marie, will you continue to have Patrick as your husband and to continue to live in a marriage with him? And do you affirm your love for him? And will you love him and keep him? and honor him in sickness and in health? And will you forsake all others to be faithful to him as long as you shall live? I do. Will you continue to have Marie as your wife and to continue to live in this marriage? No, and do you affirm your love for her? And will you love her and keep her and honor her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, will you always be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. <laughs> Honey, this is our time now to do it over to reset and to move forward. The moment I laid eyes on you, I knew in that moment that we were soulmate. You have grown into a man of integrity, who's strong, dependable, supportive, hardworking, attentive, and caring. Patrick, you told me if it comes to us, you will fly Lindsay May, our wedding planner, to North Carolina and you will ask her to officiate our wedding because I am the one for you. Thank you for not losing faith in us. I thought we would only have a little time, but God granted us with morning time. That gave us endless opportunities to pursue fully our dreams, to have a deeper meaning of what unconditional love looks like. I could never ask for a better husband best friend and the ideal father of my children to accompany me to this journey called life. Thank you for being my, my home, my protector, and my companion for life. I love you. I sent you my way. I didn't know you were going to be the woman that I was looking for all my life. My search ended the day that I met you. It was the greatest moment of my life, the happiest moment of my life. I want you to know in front of my friends and family that you are the one for me. You are the one. You are the very first and the last. What God put together, no one can not split it. And I want you to know also that I love you from the deepest part of my heart. Thank you for taking home shelter inside of me. Thank you for being with me.
Thank you for never give up on me. I love you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Yes, of the symbol of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have. I honor you, Marie. I honor you, Marie. And with this ring, with this ring, I do it. Patrick, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Patrick, I give you this ring as a with all that I am and all that I have. I honor you, Patrick. And with this ring, I do what? And by the vows you made with each other, I charge that you each remember to cherish each other as a special and unique individuals that you each are. Always respect your thoughts and ideas of one another. In the biblical story of creation, the Lord formed the human from clay of the grounds. The vessel was lovingly shaped and is a symbol of love, strength, and endurance. The miracle of the vessel is that not only it protects, but it is enriched by what it holds. May this gift represent your gratitude for the person who you are and for the family you all are becoming. May you now go forth together in the love of God. Go forth with hope and with joy and with a heart full of dreams. Continue to give and to receive and then to share. For the old things have already passed away and a new heaven and a new earth are now your dwelling place. Go and live with joy, peace, and love. Amen. It is with this pleasure that I conclude the ceremony of the vows of marriage that, have, that will join you and forever bind you as husband and wife. By the powers vested in me and by the great sunshine state of Florida, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Folks! I just wanted to I just wanted to ask you guys to give a warm hand of round of applause to my fabulous Lindsay May. Never! Thank never Thank you, Lindsay May. Thank, Thank you so, so so much. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Jessica. Thank yes. you guys for coming in and help us with that whole thing. Thank you to all my family members sitting here. Yeah, there's more than 